In the Old Testament, a few times the Hebrew word Satyr is used, but generally it's translated to devil. For example, in Leviticus, where the children of Israel are warned not to sacrifice to devils, the word is actually Satyr. And in Chronicles, where Jeroboam I set up ordained high priests and for the devils, the word is Satyr there. Satyr today means a half man, half goat, but originally it meant half ape, half man, or at least a man-like creature who looks like he is part ape. Isaiah also warned that the Middle East, at a much later time than the Kingdom of Israel, would become overrun by Satyrs. Throughout the Bible, non-Adamic people are never precisely described and instead pejoratives are used to describe them. Earlier in the Bible, the term Nephilim is used, which means fallen one, as well as Zuzim, which means roving creatures, as well as beasts, owls, dragons, and dogs. Christ himself called his adversaries who descended from Cain, serpents, and scorpions. These satyrs were on the far fringes of society, and some of the Adamic nations had even become overrun by them, such as Egypt during the time of Isaiah. Later, this word would fall out of use, and by the New Testament period, they are just called devils. In Revelation, John sees a vision of the cities of all of our nations, or great Babylon becoming inhabited by devils, and Christ said in the end times it would be like the days of Noah. Noah was overrun by Nephilim. The same thing has happened, except the terminology and words have changed from Nephilim to satyrs to devils. They are all one and the same thing.